All right, hey, what's up, people? And I'm bringing you another tutorial, and we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be pokegening, which I'm not gonna show you guys the steps on pokegen, but I'm just gonna show you guys that this works, so you could pokegen. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need access to homebrew. We're gonna need some files, and you're gonna need Pokebank. Yes. That's right, you're gonna need Pokebank. Don't worry, you do not have to pay for it. Just download it from the eShop and install it. That's it. You don't need to purchase it, like I said, but if you already have it, then hey, more power to you, okay? <clears throat> so now, very important, we're gonna come to this website here. I'll leave a link to the description. And don't worry about these ads. Uh, I guess that's how these people get paid, obviously, so. We're gonna click here on the download next to the share. So you're gonna see this little cloud with the arrow pointing down icon on download. Click it and it's gonna bring you to this page right here. Okay. Now we're gonna click on free download. And that's pretty much it. So now you're gonna see JKSM Pokebank. So let's open it. Uh, Make sure you use WinRAR. I recommend you guys use WinRAR. That's probably my favorite program that I used for a couple of years to extract files. It's free. I'll ask you to pay if you want. I guess more features, but who needs more features when you only need to use it for some files to unzip, okay? So now, insert your SD card. Okay. Make sure you have your 3DS folder for the Homebrew Starter Kit here. Okay, so on the JKSM, that file that we downloaded, we're not going to extract it so it can make it easier for us. So you're going to see the 3DS folder. All right, double click it. Then you're going to see JKSM. Double click. And you should see these three files right here. And if you do see them, then you're good to go. So just click back on the arrow right here. And let's go back to the JKSM folder. All right, this is how we're gonna save time. Just drag the JKSM folder here and extract it to the 3DS folder. If you already have JKSM um, and you don't know how to get this working for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, just follow this tutorial. All right, so we can close this down. So open up your 3DS folder from the Homebrew Starter Kit on your SD card and you should see the JKSM open it and you should see these three files okay and that's it now let's go back to the SD card make sure you put it back in here into your 3DS okay I usually recommend everybody to reboot your 3ds after you insert your sd card just because at times uh it crashes okay so hopefully it doesn't crash on me but all right go down and find jk save manager you're gonna see the little sd card icon and some other icons in there all right i'm gonna press a now hopefully it doesn't crash perfect it doesn't crash okay very important press a when you see this info and it's gonna download some files I should take about a couple seconds <sighs> okay so now we're gonna be welcome to this screen right here cartridge SDCIA system titles shared X data refresh games download filter config extras and exit All right wait 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 it's pretty weird because I think I clicked on the wrong option okay go back so come to the JK save manager and yeah just make sure you come to the pokebank not sure if I missed a step. All right, 
make sure you go to Pokebank and it should open. Not sure if I did do it or not. Okay. So once again, that's why Pokebank is important for us to do this. That's gonna pretty much bypass for us to get on here. All right. Now you're gonna see a cartridge and SD. So if you have the cartridge for whatever game you're gonna Pokegen, make sure you select the cartridge. If you own the digital copy from the eShop, make sure you select the SDCIA. Just click it and find your game. Okay, just find your game that you have. Okay, so just follow the step. Pretty much gonna be the same thing. Just that cartridge is gonna be detected automatically because of course that's what's inserted on my 3DS. So as you can see, for the cartridge, you're gonna see whatever game that was detected on the 3DS. Okay. <clears throat> now, as well as the digital copy, you're gonna be greeted with this message, save data options, extra data options, and back. So we're gonna press save data options. We're gonna go to export. Do not worry about the, these other ones. Just go to export. Now we're gonna press A for new and just rename it just rename it to whatever you want all right I'm gonna rename mine to alpha sapphire because that's the game I'm burning right now okay so rename it to whatever you want I'm just gonna rename it to alpha sapphire I'm gonna press as you can see success and then we're gonna be greeted with finish press a or just tap on the screen for okay okay now let's remove our SD card and let the fun let the fun begin all right so you guys can see I'm not bullshitting or whatever I'm gonna open PK hex and you're not gonna see nothing because my SD card is not on the 3ds okay so this is proof that it works so i'm going to insert my sd card and and open pk hex as you can see everything is here that's how my on my game all right i'm not going to show you guys how to poke gen you guys know how to do this because I don't, I'm not trying to spend as much time on this tutorial. Just trying to show you guys that you guys can poke it now without any issues. Okay, so you guys can see, I'm just gonna clone some Pokemon real quick. I'm gonna clone some Salamence with the Mega Stones. All right, and I'm gonna clone some Shiny Arceus here. All right. So once you're done genning and all that good stuff, make sure you hit file, export sav, export main, and press save, and main already exists, do you want to replace it, press yes, and sav export it to whatever, okay, remove your SD card, put it back into your 3DS, All right, now let's go back to the homebrew launcher. So just press B to go back. Just keep pressing B and that should walk on you back. Okay, because since we remove the SD card and whatever, and we try to import it, it's gonna give an error that there's nothing detected. So let's go back to JK's manager. All right, make sure to select Pokebank. It's very important. Do not select anything else because if not, it's gonna crash. Uh, pretty, pretty much, much Pokebanks just to bypass this. All right. Now, once again, if you have the cartridge or S or the digital copy, make sure you select whichever one you're running. So I'm gonna go with the cartridge. I'm gonna go to save data options as well as the SD card. I mean, as well as the digital copy. You're gonna see these options as well. Save data options. Now, again, we're gonna see this. 
as well for the digital copy you're going to see the same thing just press import and you're going to see alpha sapphire now so press a on the title if you have any other backups of course you're going to see different titles highlighted in green okay so are you sure you want to import alpha sapphire press a and it finished all right so let's go back press b so once again as you can see on my screen all these pokemon i cloned salamance and rcs okay so i'm gonna press start and i'm gonna reboot my 3ds so this should work for any game to back up and restore i kind of do like the jk set manager a little bit better well I believe save manager is basically more flex more flexible um you don't have to go back into the homebrew launcher and whatnot it's just very easy to work with but then i like this that you can rename your file and it's easy to identify okay Alright, so let's head to the PC box and we should see whatever is on here. Alright, so I'm box 29. Let's open it. So withdraw. As you can see, all these Salamances, all these shiny Arceus. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's all there is to it. Any questions, any just drop a comment. You want to support this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. You already know. Other than that, guys, like I said, any comments, feel free to let me know. I mean, any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one. And hopefully everything goes smoothly. And everybody's back at it to Pucky Jennings. Because that's the thing. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.